Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Well, thank you all very much. I'm very happy to be with you today to talk about what we've accomplished these past eight years and to look forward to what there is yet to accomplish. The Business Government Relations Council stood with this administration as we fought the established wisdom that once ridiculed our ideas about economic growth and taxation. The companies that you represent recognize that they would not be able to succeed in the increasingly competitive world marketplace without major reforms at home. And that's why you supported us as we fought to cut taxes and eliminate unnecessary regulations and restrain the growth of federal spending. Now, it was quite a battle, but the battle was worth it, and the facts bear this out. Six full years of uninterrupted economic growth, it's the longest peacetime recovery in history, an unemployment rate of 5.4 percent, and almost 19 million new jobs created since our recovery began. Today, more Americans are at work than ever before in the history of this great country, and a greater percentage of the total workforce is currently employed. Now, that total, total workforce, I had to come here to find out what they meant by that. That's everybody in the United States, male and female, 16 years and up. And 62.6 percent of them currently employed. Well, let's take a look at our successes from a Yuletide perspective. According to a Philadelphia bank, the index of the cost of giving your true love, the gifts mentioned in the carol, the 12 days of Christmas, declined by six-tenths of a percent this year. <laughs> Yeah. The price of pear trees fell. <laughs> the pi price of partridges was unchanged. However, I must sadly report that costs rose for pipers piping and drummers drumming. <laughs> so you see, we still have some work to do. We understood the key to prosperity was low inflationary growth, and we achieved it. Our other aim, cutting the budget deficit, was hampered by a budgetary process that can only be called insane. And so I continue to support two measures to stop runaway federal spending, the line item veto and the balanced budget amendment. George Bush needs them, and I hope you'll help him get them. Now, I know Clayton will be talking to you about the Uruguay Round midterm review in Montreal last week, but let me just say this. We've made remarkable strides during this decade toward our goal of free and fair world trade, not only in the GATT, but also through our passage of the U.S.-Canada Free Trade Agreement. There are many who said that we could not stem the tide of protectionism, that the only way to respond to unfair trading practice was to close off our own market. Well, we didn't want to succumb to this defeatist attitude, so we launched the Uruguay Round against all odds two years ago. In the midterm review, we reached agreement on a framework to move the negotiation forward in all but two most difficult areas, agricultural and intellectual property. We remain committed to an international trading system based on the principles of freedom and fairness, and we'll continue to press for the end of agricultural subsidies and the protection of intellectual property. We're confident these aims can be achieved, and when they are, I believe the people of the world will know a prosperity of which we have only the slightest glimmering. So as I take my leave of you, I ask you to continue the battle, the battle for the line item veto, the balanced budget amendment, and free trade throughout the world. I was one of the 43 governors in this country that had the line item veto. I used it 943 times in the eight years and was never overridden once. When you line item those things that may be passable when they're all buried with other things, and then send them back for them to vote on them standing out there all by themselves, uh, they don't vote the same way. <laughs> so, well, thank you all, and God bless you all.
Sears here. Yeah. Mr. President, we in the Business Government Relations Council are deeply appreciative of your leadership of our nation for the past eight years. And I agree with you. I think one of the greatest achievements uh, has been that phenomenal economic growth that we've seen sustained for a little more than six straight years now. You are leaving an amazing legacy. And uh, we thank you because you've made our jobs as business representatives in Washington just a little bit easier. Our organization uh, has encouraged a greater uh, participation in terms of an interchange of information between government and business and an increased dialogue. And you and your wonderful staff have really helped us make that come about. So as a small token of our thanks to you, I'd like to present this plaque in recognition, as it says here, of your enlightened leadership to enhance the principles and purposes of the Business Government Relations Council. We thank you. Well, thank you very much. All of this and all I did was get government out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> you did the rest. <laughs> well, thank you all.